Welcome back to another episode of Balling With. Today, guys, we are going to hop right into the uh, recent injury uh, Jerry Judy sustained today. Uh, just actually reported a few hours ago. It is 157. This is 109. Uh, bad news receiver Jerry Judy has helped off the field after suffering an injury. Uh, I believe they said it was a hamstring injury. Um and he's one of the better receivers to come out of college uh, from Alabama. I definitely liked him. I didn't like where he was picked to Denver Broncos. I think they could have used it, him a little bit more effective. Uh, and this is a you know a make or break year with Sean Payton and then uh, Russell Wilson. So hopefully he's only out for the rest of the remaining off season and come back regular season. But he was carted off the field. Uh, so it kind of looks just I uh, mean. Even with the Joe Barrow uh, injury, um, they say he can come back in you know by before the before December or October, I believe. Um, and he was carted off the field. And when I seen that, I'm just like, no, because Joe Barrow is gonna put up numbers in NFL season. He's one of the top three quarterbacks in the league in my eyes, and a lot of other people's eyes as well. So when you seen that, just devastating how that was. And no one wants to see no type of injury like that before the season even starts and get here. It's, you want you each player to have a chance to win, man, for your team and actually show out what you can do and what you worked so hard for in the off season. But Jerry Judy was is one of them. He's their best re- receiver. Um, he's that guy. Um, and here's just another update. Um, he sustained the injury during the Rams joint practice and was carted off the field. Uh, and they already lost Tim Patrick for a season injury. Injury. Um. Bad news, hope it's not as serious as it seems. Yes, stated correctly. Um, and I think Adam Schefter said it was a hamstring injury. So hopefully, you know, it wasn't with nothing with the ankle or ACL tear or anything. Um, and, you know, the cart will just be a little bit better for you instead of him walking all the way off to the practice field where the trainers and stuff are. Cart is a little bit more easier. Um, and then this just shows um, some free agents, receivers that are still available. Julio Jones, Jarvis Landry, Galladay. He's, I thought he was just on the Giants. I know I just, I just made a video actually about the Giants. I did not see him on the roster actually. That is crazy because they signed him. He or he need to get picked back up by the Giants. I mean the, the Detroit Lions because they actually have a pretty good team. They need somebody. T. Y. Hilton, Sammy Watkins, Antonio Brown. These are all on this list. I would go Landry, Galladay. Um, and I thought T. Y. Hilton was on the Dallas Cowboys. That's Brandon Cooks. I'm okay. I'm getting players mixed up all the way around. But um the video is not done, guys. I just wanted to dive into the Denver Broncos um schedule for this year and see how many teams or you know teams that it can beat or you know how many games they could win. Um should be a pretty tight season as well for them, depending on how Russell Wilson plays, make or break year. Um they paid him a lot of money. You got Sean Payton in. Sean Payton criticized the entire coaching staff that it was one of the worst last season. So now you say that. So you better not be the worst again. We we know that. And all the stuff that's going on is just spotlight and eyes is on the Denver Broncos. Um, and they had a, a pretty good preseason game uh, that they ended up losing at the last seconds. I forgot to who. But they didn't look good. Oh, it was actually a 49ers. Trey Lynch actually carried them. And Trey Lynch actually just got announced the third string quarterback on the 49ers. And now he's not showing up to practice. This is another side note. But with that being said, let's hop right on into the Denver Broncos schedule this year. Um, and they did lose a nail biter to the Denver Broncos, to the 49ers right here. It was right in front of my face when I'm talking about it. And they are in train practice with the Rams right now. And they will play them on Saturday. The NFL season is vastly pro- approaching us um, in about two more weeks now. Yep, this Sunday will make it two more weeks officially, so about 17 more days, 18 more days, guys, into the NFL season. I'm excited. Uh, all right, week one, Denver Broncos versus Las Vegas Raiders, and I believe the Raiders are favored, I mean, are underdogs in this game. Raiders are plus four. Um, and with the Raiders um, preseason going in uh, with McDaniels, they've actually been moving the ball downfield. 
I think Jimmy Garoppolo is the quarterback, but they do have some pieces. I am worried about Josh Jacobs, but they do have Devontae Adams. The defense is pretty good. Max Crosby is out there. Um, they should put up points still, um, and I do see them beating the Denver Broncos week one. Uh, Commanders, we played them week two. My team, of course, we're going to get the dub. So that means the Denver Broncos are going to be 0-2, right? Uh, 0-3 versus the Miami Dolphins, right? Now, these two games uh, are up in the air. It's never just, uh, you know, clean sweep. It's going to be some some tough, some grit fought. But the way Russell Wilson standing in the pocket and those D-lines coming at him, I know our D-lines coming at him. I don't know about Max Crosby and his Raiders D-line, but they're going to probably come at him too. And they get flustered, and then they do the check down, and then they do get one yard, two yards, and it gets predictable, and then um, for quick three and outs, and then we hold the ball longer, and then we win the game. And that's how it's probably going to come down to. I got them going 0-3 the first three games. Now we have the Chicago Bears and New York Jets. It's going to be a close game, and I do see Denver Broncos losing. And I do see Denver Broncos are losing to the Jets. I do see them losing to the Chiefs. This could be a win game right here. This could be a win. It depends how Jordan Love acclimates himself by then. He should be pretty comfortable. And the Packers don't have no slums either. They have a great coach team. Um, and I, and, I, and I, I can see the Broncos. I want to give them a win somewhere. So I'll give them a win right here versus the Green Bay Packers. It's going to be close. They probably win by a field goal. And it's going to be a close game, too, with the Bears. These are four games they could win. One, two, three, four. But one, two, three, four again. They got Chiefs after, like, almost a back-to-back. After the Packers go back to the Chiefs, they're going to lose that again. But don't be surprised because based off the NFL script, it'll be a completely chain game. Everyone and their mama going to bet on them during that week, Kansas City Chiefs. That 1% might win. So Broncos might could be two in whatever right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two and eight. Definitely going to be two and nine. Buffalo Bills is not losing. Minnesota Vikings is not losing. It depends how their health holds up and their defense. But I can see their offense is pretty good. Now, the Denver Broncos defense is pretty good. Don't get that wrong. But their offense is just so bad. They need to put up some points. They had one of the league worst uh, averaging 14 to 17 points. The league is a scoring. You're not averaging over 24, 25, 28 points a game. You're not in that ballpark of scores, and now your team is going to be, you know, close games. But you're averaging over 24 points, and that you should be in good standing. When your defense is holding teams to under 20 points, you should be in good standing. Uh, the Broncos and Browns, I believe the Broncos will lose this game, and they're going to be 2-10 and 10 at this point. Uh, let's go Broncos and Texans. I do have Broncos winning this. We have Broncos losing. Broncos losing. Broncos could win versus the Patriots. Depends how the Patriots play out at the end of the season. They want a higher draft pick and how they decide to be coached. Uh, and they could win that. Uh, I can see the Broncos losing again to the Chargers. And they could win. Depends how their season is. What the record is. If the Raiders are in playoff contention, they will win that game. If the Broncos are not in playoff contention and the Raiders are, they want to try to spoil it. It's going to be a good game. I can still see the Raiders winning at least by the point spread. So, all in all, I have the Broncos winning about three or four games. Now let's check right here real quick where they land on. Oh, under, 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 under there. They have the New York Giants at seven and a half. Let's see what they have the Chicago Bears at because the Chicago Bears is a team that has one of the most over on theirs as well. And they're at seven and a half. But this guy smashed that under. The Broncos are not winning nine games this season. Not nine games. And with that being said, I'm going to end this video at nine minutes. Because that is, I'm flabbergasted. I'm, they have them at nine and a half. Let's see what they have my team, bro. And I actually know what they have my team is at. It's at six and a half. The blatant disrespect, guys. This is, this is what it is. And this is how it's going to play out. We're going to, Washington Commanders are going to win their six and a half games. And Denver Broncos is not going to win their, they're going to go under eight and a half. Put that on the books. I'm the bookie. Guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more videos. Um, hopefully, Jerry Judy gets more healthy and it plays and it can contribute to this eight and a half wins. If it doesn't, I'm just going off of that season with him, those uh, games with him that in the uh, lineup. So, um, 
Take it for what you want. Even if, even if he is in the lineup, I give him seven games, eight. I don't see them winning nine games. They might win eight, be eight and eight or eight and nine, but they're not winning nine games. Guys, with that being said, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. More videos coming out, news coverage, podcast, sports, best sports challenges, highlights. We got it all. Uh, catch y'all on the next episode. Boom.